Hello, and welcome to this Linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about changing invoice settings in Linked POS. Different businesses may require their invoices, sales orders, or receipts to be printed on different sizes of papers, such as 3 inches, 3.5 inches, and 4 inches. Linked POS makes the process of changing these settings extremely simple. To change these settings, head on over to the Reports tab. In the drop-down that appears, click on this Reports Options button. This will open up the Settings window. There are two main tabs that can be used here, the Invoices tab and the Reports tab. In this video, we'll be addressing the Invoices tab. The Invoices tab can be used to change invoice settings in Linked POS, such as the printer to use, paper size, and preview preferences. In the first field, you can see all the printers detected by Linked POS. Choosing your printer in the drop-down will automatically load its supported papers for the next fields. In the next field, choose your used paper from the list of supported papers. For example, let's say I want to choose the 4-inch paper. Choosing the 4-inches paper will load up the invoice preview in the 4-inches paper preview. Next, choose the invoice size. This will be used to internally adjust the invoice layout by Linked POS. Let's take another example. Let's say that I choose the 3.5-inch paper. So, in the next field, I'll choose the invoice size. And that's how you set up the invoice paper settings in Linked POS. Next up is the Printer Preview field. This field allows you to set whether you want to see a preview of this invoice before it's printed. Some people may choose to set this to print, because they want it to print the invoice automatically. If you choose Preview, Linked POS will show you a preview of the invoice before printing it. If you choose None, Linked POS will neither print it nor preview it for you. It'll just save the entry in the database. Once done, hit Save, and this will update your settings. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.